Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So today we are going to kind of talk about our journey to becoming fit and how we got to the place we are today. To begin, we, G and I, have always been active our entire lives, ever since like our childhood. Our parents put us in tons of sports and different activities just to get us out of the house and to get our energy out. So, growing up, sports has always been a thing. So we were, we never really knew a season without a sport, if that makes sense. We were always going to after school practices, and games on the weekend um and it was also another outlet for us to release our energy um and also be with friends so that was where it all started and then another common question we get is what made us want to start working out specifically weight training so weight training and hitting the gym constantly came more in high school where it was more so I think sophomore year of high school where we quit cross country and we needed something to do in the fall to prep us for basketball in the winter and track in the spring. So we needed something that would take fall and we were like, why not go to the gym we can gain some muscle because we were kind of little lanky kids and we needed to build some muscle. So we thought we should go to the gym, see how it goes and bulk up a little bit. Going into high school and doing those sports, we knew we were gonna go up against competitors that were like double our size, double our weight. And we're like, okay, we really need to find something that we can gain weight in easily and then also help us become better athletes. Um, and at the time, we didn't really realize how much muscle helps you become your best athlete self. But um, after going to the gym and hitting the weights, um, we definitely saw results. And I think that's something that kept us motivated to continue to go. Yeah, and motivation was was and is still one of the most highest thing you need to put on your priority list because without your motivation you there's nothing there so our i know my motivation today is different from my motivation in high school in high school my motivation was to gain muscle weight and get stronger and quicker for my sports Today, it's more so toning the muscles, keeping my physique, and honestly just getting the endorphins after a workout. Yeah. Um, my motivation, same as G in high school, I was trying my very best to gain as much weight as I possibly could um, to be the better athlete I knew I could be. Um, and then now, I just, I just want to stay fit and healthy. Um, I don't really have any goals for my body at the moment. Um, I do still want to gain more weight just because I, I prefer to be a little bit heavier than I am right now. Um, which is weird because most people are always like, I want to work out to uh, lose weight. And people don't realize that there are people who go work out to gain weight because they've been so small and scrawny their entire lives. And I think that's why I always want to gain more weight is because I was so little um, growing up and got picked on actually for being scrawny. Um, so for me, my motivation is just to keep my physique just like G said, and then overall just stay healthy and active because I have ADHD and I need an outlet for myself. Um, to do something other than work and stay in the house. So the gym gives me the great opportunity to go somewhere else that's not the house to release a ton of energy. It helps your mental health. Yes, 
a lot because it gives you just something to not think about your life. You can go there for like however long you want to go. G and I usually are there for an hour, hour and a half. Um, and that's the time where we can just plug into music. We can do whatever we want. There's not really much thoughts in my head when I work out. Um, it's just something to do that's not a ton of hard work, I guess. Hard work, but also Like stress. brain power. Yeah. 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 At the gym, it's very stress-free. And it's your time to work on yourself and be there in the moment, not thinking about other things. And I'm not on my phone as much at the gym. That's the time where... It, I'm on my phone if I'm changing my songs, which is quite often, but I try not to be on my phone a ton. Yeah. Um, and so we talk a lot about motivation, and I think a lot of people get stuck on, like, how do you stay motivated, mm -hmm. and, like, do you have any tips? So for me, like, motivation is going to be different week by week, day by day, just it's hard and so I think for me day by day the first step is getting up out of bed two for me is knowing that I actually enjoy the gym so I'm gonna like going and if I don't go I'm gonna be my moods gonna be different if I don't go yeah. so that is two early morning motivations for me and then when i'm at the gym people around me those strong women that i see in the gym is a motivator to continue to do my reps continue to just be the best i can be the atmosphere of the gym is a motivating factor i know it's very hard to walk into a gym because of like all the masculinity and like not knowing what to not do. Not knowing what to do yeah. and being scared, doing something wrong. That's obviously an obstacle everyone needs to get over. But I think going with also like friends. I go with May and our roommate and sometimes her sister. So there's four of us going together and holding each other accountable. Yeah, that's what I was going to say was the a really big motivation for me is knowing that other people are going. And knowing that they're going, I want to go. Like, I don't want to just stay here alone and stay in bed and whatnot because, well, we're all friends. We all enjoy working out together. Um, it makes working out um, less intimidating, just like G said, but also enjoyable because you're with friends. Um, and you're just kind of, you're around each other, just working out, trying to stay fit. Um, yeah. And I think, like, one also very important motivate, motivating factor is the fact that sometimes we get breakfast after. And, like, it's usually when those days are the hardest and we don't feel, like, pushing ourselves at the gym. But, like, when we're at the gym, I think we all decide, like, you know what? I want to go out to breakfast. And mm -hmm. there's a really good breakfast place right downstairs um, from our gym, so it's very easy to access too, which is great But that motivates you to finish your workout to work as strong as you can and then go and treat, treat yourself. yourself Yeah, which is a great aspect to have is if I do this I can treat myself to this and it's more so like a give-and-take process, you yeah. know, so um I think I go a lot of the time hoping we could go to breakfast. See, G goes for breakfast. I go for the protein shakes because they have amazing shakes there after you work out. Yeah. Um, and I am always like, hey, I want a shake after today. Like, especially after a very hard workout and I'm so fatigued, I look forward to that protein shake um, on for the ride home. Yeah. Yeah. So... I think those are the main three questions we get on across our social medias um, about having a fitness lifestyle, lifestyle or just fit, being fit and yeah. working out. Um, so yeah, that was, we wanted to answer you guys and let us know if you guys have more questions about it because 
obviously you can tell May and I are very passionate about being fit and living a nutritious lifestyle so if you guys have more questions make sure to drop them down below and we can obviously we'll do make more of these one. yeah um but like always be kind to others and, and happy yourselves and we'll see you in the next video peace Bye.